Um, you know, starting with acquisition itself, it, it's a little different from acquiring a, a single family home or a smaller uh, apartment. The acquisition uh, itself uh, needs, like I uh, said earlier, um, a lot of effort in terms of underwriting the deal, understanding the market, uh, understanding who will uh, operate the deal, uh, putting together a, a, a great asset management team. So all that comes in uh, prior to acquiring the deal. The, in, in apartments uh, uh, transactions, the deal sizes are, are larger too. I mean, typically in um, syndicated deals, we are looking anywhere from um, 10 million upwards. Um, so there, there is a fair amount of work involved in, uh, in working with the lenders, uh, trying to figure out what kind of lending works best. So uh, that's a, a key pa a part of this. The financing of the um, acquisition is a key part of this. Um, you know, so that's, uh, so th those are some challenges which are uh, different in the apartment world uh, compared to um, a, you know, smaller single family home or even a small um, apartment. And then uh, once you acquire, um, there is a lot more from the asset management standpoint, you know, starting from um, just the, uh, you know, maintenance of the apartment, uh, you know, just if you, if you are not just doing renovation, just keeping it looking good on the exterior. If there are swimming pools, they have to, uh, you know, look clean. The, the grounds have to be uh, squeaky clean. Um, so from there, uh, on to uh, you know functions of, of, of managing the asset from uh, leasing and uh, uh, or renting the um, units to, to the uh, tenants. So the, the leasing function um, is, is another important thing that uh, is very critical to the success of the, uh, uh, of the deal. Um, and uh, prior to that you have marketing um, to make sure that we have uh, the right number of applicants coming in so that uh, they can stay at the uh, apartment. Um, and uh, uh, after that, uh, you know, there, there are other issues that you deal with. Um, you know, in, in, in a worst case scenario, you're dealing with uh, issues like, um, I mean, a fire or other, you know, flooding and things like that where you end up working with the uh, insurance company to make sure that uh, you get paid for, for the damages. Um, there are other um, uh, areas that you need to be focused on such as uh, financing, uh, sorry, the finances where you need to make sure that the invoices are being paid to the vendors, um, you're reporting to the lender uh, on the mortgage um, and also sending them the uh, appropriate financial reports. Um, and then lastly, um, you also need to be uh, communicating with the investors on what's going on. Typically, you send a uh, monthly bullet in saying that, hey, this is what happened in this property in, uh, you know, in this month. Um, here are the financial statements. And um, I would also encourage um, investors um, and, and, and also the general partners to have uh, a monthly conference call so that uh, uh, the investors know um, exactly what they are um, uh, getting uh, because sometimes the financial reports are uh, hard for the investors to digest. You are talking about you know seventy to eighty pages of, of, of reports. Um, so, th so those are uh, some of the um, activities that need to be done um, uh, once uh, you get into to, to this uh, apartment deal.